Hawaii Strong, more companies are joining the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, two Maui companies are teaming up as Pau Maui Vodka and Maui Gold Pineapple are now mixing up hand sanitizer. And joining us this morning is Kili Iheen, managing partner of Pau Maui Vodka. Good morning, Kili. How are you doing this morning? Hey. Good morning. How are you? Now, how did you come up with this great idea? Well, actually, we saw a few other smaller distillers around Hawaii. Um, reaching out and starting to make some sanitizers. So I inquired with our company and our distiller, and uh, you know we used the WHO's uh, um, recipe for making the sanitizer, and we just kind of went from there. It takes, uh, you know, we use base spirits, which is needed to make sanitizer, and then from there we had a couple other chemicals, and, and there we go, and we're just trying to be part of the you know, solution and be part of a you know, small community that we have out here. We're on our own, so we want to make sure that we can do what we can to support the, the people on the front line. Now, for us, I'm, I'm sure the process sounds very difficult, but is it similar to making vodka, what you guys do for a living? Yeah, I mean, uh, for all sanitizers, the base component that's in sanitizer is alcohol. So uh, in order to make sanitizer, you need to be, number one, start with uh, uh, high neutral grain spirits or high proof alcohol. From there, we just add in uh, some peroxide, glycerin, and uh, some uh, agents to denature the alcohol, which makes it not consumable. And uh, outside of that, that's pretty much it, and some water, and, and you're off to the races. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy for us to transfer over. Um, with just some chemicals we don't typically work with. Now, are you guys working in conjunction with any state agencies? Um, we have reached out. Well, we haven't got a lot back from the agencies. You know, we were looking for stuff like, um, you know, how much volume is needed out there? How many, how many companies need sanitizer? How do we allocate how much sanitizer goes to who? And, um, you know, and what, how do we distribute it? You know, I'm not the person that should be allocating out uh, sanitizer to hospitals or health agencies or, um, you know, ancillary agencies. But at the end of the day, you know, we're doing the best we can to, um, you know, we get a lot. I get multiple, multiple emails and phone calls a day asking people are out of sanitizer. Their regular supply chain doesn't have any. Can we, can we get some in their hands? Can we get them five gallons, two gallons, a gallon, whatever? So there's a huge need out there. And we're hoping that, you know, the state government comes to us as a distiller community and really, you know, kind of gets their hands around this and lets us, um, you know, enables us to help them, you know, so we can get more sanitizer out to people that need it. So when will the first batch be available, and will you be selling it to the public? Um, we are not selling it to the public right now. We're really dealing with uh, the frontline healthcare providers, so the hospitals, uh, other organizations such as the Food Bank or the Cancer Foundation. Uh, we have the Moloka'i Hospital called us yesterday. They're almost out of sanitizer. So there's people that are in need, and um, you know we're, we're dealing with um, allocating it out as best we can to the people that need it. From there, if we can make enough as a community, then we'll start to figure out a way to get it out to the general public. All right. Thank you very much, Khalid, for your time and for making hand sanitizer in this time <laughs> of need. We really appreciate that. It's, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Now, for more information on Palmawi Vodka, just go to our website, Cajun2.com. Don't go anywhere.